He yeah. was like, I don't care if you're Einstein or yeah. God. Yeah. You're going to go through the same peer review. And hey, if something is wrong, maybe you need to pay attention, right? Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Einstein publishes these field equations. The field equations give us a way to understand what matter does to space and what space does to matter. And one can imagine people start asking, can I make waves? Space-time is this sort of elastic thing that I should be able to create waves in space-time. We gotta first show that the Einstein field equations admit a solution that looks like the wave equation. Okay. Okay. The wave equation is something that's been around for hundreds of years. And it's, it's a very simple second order differential equation. So Einstein sets out to see if this works in his, in his field equations. Mm -hmm. So at this point, it's in the 1930s. Yep. Einstein's already at Princeton, mm -hmm. Woo -woo. New Jersey. He's already um, at the Institute for Advanced Study. At this point, I don't think the Institute had actually been made. And so he was, he had an office in Frist. Yeah. Campus Center, yes. um, which used to be the old physics building yes. and the math building yes. on campus. So he, he's sitting there and he does the math and he notices these things called singularities, which he can't quite get rid of. And he sends it over to the physical review. Okay. The, the editor was John Tate and he is kind of a stickler for the peer review process. At this point, Einstein had already sent in a bunch of papers to the peer review. There was the very famous EPR paper, Einstein, Podolsky, Rosen, which is the one thing that, you know, this whole quantum stuff is weird. Maybe there's some like hidden variable that explains quantum mechanics. There was also the Einstein Rosen bridge paper. So he's had a pretty good relationship right. with the physical review. Yes. So he sends this one in and he says that, you know, um, my equations do not allow for wave like solutions. Um, John Tate sends it over to his buddy, um, H.P. Robertson, and Robertson finds an error okay. in the paper, okay. okay? He finds that the singularities that Einstein is so worried about and the reason why he thinks that wave equations won't exist are actually just coordinate singularities. They're not actually real physical singularities. Mm. So it writes back to Tate. Tate then pushes back on Einstein and he's like, hey, I got these peer reviews. I was wondering if, very nicely, the, the, the letters are still there. This is Einstein we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So obviously you have to be like, you know, they have these comments. Can you take a look? <laughs> and Einstein is just livid. <laughs> okay. He's like, I can't believe you showed my paper yeah. to someone without my consent. Yeah, yeah. Um, given this, I'm just going to publish somewhere else. He retracts his paper. The goat. He never publishes in physical review again. <laughs> And John Tate goes down as the guy who editorialized Einstein. But he, he, was, he was true a man true to his word. 